I have a box right here. This is a router. Well, not yet, but we're gonna be installing PF Sense here. Uh, but I wanna unbox this one. This is the Protectly Volt FW4C. This is going to be replacing my current router right now, which is from my ISP from Fios. Um, so what we're gonna do, because this one, um, I'm kind of excited, although at the same time, I'm very new to networking and all that. So I just want to unbox this one and then we'll take a look at the hardware. Um, again, we are, this doesn't have any software inside, it's just a hardware, but we're going to be installing PF Sense on this one that will route all my server here for the studio. All right, here we go without talking. Oh, before I forget, I also got this. Um, I was kind of interested. This is an ethernet cable. It did, it, it did say cat eight. But, you know, we'll see. I mean, I have Gigabyte Fias here, um, so I don't know how that's gonna benefit me, uh, first of all, but it's good to have. Let's open this first, because this is the Ethernet cable. This is a Ethernet cable, Cat8 Ethernet cable, three feet only, because I don't really need a long one. It's from Smolink Store. Currently, um, during the time of recording, this is about $6.99 or seven bucks. Um, it does say here, usually it's $11.99, so uh, I wanted to give it a try. And it has 4.7 stars on Amazon, so you know, I'm kind of interested about this. But this is pretty short, it's only three feet. Um, so yeah, these ports look quality compared to the ones, mostly the ones I had or I bought. Usually they're like transparent and all plastic, but this one, it has a, I guess, a metal coating, if I'm not mistaken, or metal uh, protector or cover right here. It looks good, actually. I'm not that of a fan of the uh, the color, though. It's a bit, I don't know what this one, maroon or flesh or something. Yeah, kind of like, almost like the, uh, yeah, it reminds me of the honey logo color. Almost like orange or maroon, whatever. I'm colorblind, I guess. I like the cable. This one is pretty, pretty solid right here. Um, you know, feels premium for a $7 Ethernet cable, although it's only three feet, but looking forward to this one. Anyways, I talk too much. Let's open this Protectly Vault right here. It's a simple box. Then let's open this one. So first off, we're greeted with the Quick Start Guide. Getting started, thanks for the purchase. It has a QR code, so I'm probably gonna do that. Uh, when your vault arrives, yeah, pretty much. It has the same QR code and all that. Same same instructions on both sides, basically. I'm gonna try to do that. Uh, before we open this one, the Protectly uh, FW4C that I have here right now, basically it has Intel Pentium uh, J3710 quad core at 1.6 gigahertz. Can go up to 2.6 gigahertz. It has four um, Intel 2.5 gigabit ethernet NIC ports. Um, AES -NI, AES NI support. Core boot is supported, so yeah. The one I have has four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. It has 32 gigabytes of um, storage. Yeah, this does not have any OS right here, so we're gonna be installing PF Sense, which that might be for uh, another video. But let's open this one. This is the main box right here, or the main router. So, this is fanless, by the way, so this is pretty, pretty silent, so, which is what I like. So as you can see, it has all these um, uh, grill fins right here, which is pretty cool. So this is basically, this is like a mini or a tiny PC that is intended for just being a router, basically. So that's why we're gonna have to install PF Sense on this one. So, um, on this side it has, again, four 2.5 gigabit ethernet network right here. One is for the WAN network and then three uh, LAN cable and then one power <laughs> plug or port right here. DC 12, 12 volt power uh, cable is, this is where you're gonna be putting it in. And then on the side it has, oh, I thought these these were two buttons, but it's not actually. It might be for like expansion and stuff. I'm not sure, this is the first time I've seen this one. And then there's an, an on this side right here, I'm not entirely sure. Um, it does have a small, okay, so based on the site, this is actually for an expansion for the, um, the wireless, uh, antenna. We're not gonna install wireless antenna directly to this one. We're gonna have an access point because it's not recommended actually, especially for PF Sense. It's not, um, it's basically an after afterthought. Again, on the other side right here, I guess this is the front. This one is the back where all the LAN ports or ethernet ports are located. The one on the front, it has the power button right here. It has the audio headphone jack port. Wow, okay, pretty interesting. I never thought of that, it, but it has two USB 
I'm pretty sure this is USB 3 port, especially when it's blue. There's two of them, and then there's one COM port, it's still uh, RJ45 or Ethernet cable right here, and then two HDMI. So basically, the reason why the, this has uh, HDMI ports is because how are you going to install uh, the PFSense or the uh, software without looking at the monitor, right? We need the monitor for that. But anyways, that is that. There is still, yep, there's still some accessories right here. What's included in this box, I totally forgot. So it has this metal plate right here, especially when you want to hook this up or, uh, you know, mount this to a wall with uh, screws and mounting brackets. We have an, uh, the RJ45 on one end and LPT, like a serial, oh no, VGA. VGA port on the other. I have HDMI uh, monitor, so we're gonna use HDMI instead. This one, I'm actually not sure what, what, what to use for this, but it has RJ45 on this one. I'm gonna have to look at the uh, manual. Again, I'm a total noob on uh, routers and networking, so this is the first time I'm, I'm unboxing this. And then we have the power adapter for the Protectly. This is a 12 volt, if I'm not mistaken. Output 12 volt, uh, 40 watt power adapter. Yep, basically that's that. You can see here, there's MSATA 32 gigabytes SSD. Pretty, pretty tiny right here. Um, I don't wanna take off any of the um, stickers. So this is the SATA and then I think this is the RAM right here and all the connectors. Everything is pretty, pretty uh, compact if you, know, <laughs> if you can see. But anyways, what I was saying is we are going to, this is what I'm going to be installing, PFSense. This is an open source software. So basically a uh, secure network starts here with thousands of enterprises and all that. Yeah, yeah. So PFSense is like an enterprise grade um, security or, you know, router software and all that. Um, pretty much mostly for enterprise and businesses, but we're gonna install this on my server. But that's for next video. All right, um, and pretty much that, that's it for this video. I just wanted to unbox this one. And then we're gonna have a new video. Uh, hopefully, once I get a hang of this uh, PFSense and all that, then we'll make a video on that. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel.